Plus, there's cake. Yeah, it, well, we got to love birthdays, absolutely. In our word for today on, on this memorial of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our word for today is lowliest. Lowliest, our word for today, our reading from the book of Judges, chapter 6. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth in the Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abrazite, while his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to save it from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, O champion. Gideon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wondrous deeds of which our fathers told us when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? For now the Lord has abandoned us and has delivered us into the power of the Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and save Israel from the power of Midian. It is I who send you. But Gideon answered him, Please, my Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowliest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. I shall be with you, the Lord said to him, and you will cut down Midian to the last man. Gideon answered him, If I find favor with you, give me a sign that you are speaking with me. Do not depart from here, I pray, until I come back to you and bring out my offering and set it before you. He answered, I will await your return. So Gideon went off and prepared a kid and a measure of flour in the form of unleavened cakes. Putting the meat in a basket and the broth in a pot, he brought them out to him under the terebinth and presented them. The angel of God said to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes and lay them on this rock, then pour out the broth. When he had done so, the angel of the Lord stretched out the tip of the staff he held and touched the meat and unleavened cakes. Thereupon a fire came up from the rock that consumed the meat and unleavened cakes, and the angel of the Lord disappeared from sight. Gideon, now aware that it had been the angel of the Lord, said, Alas, Lord God, that I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord answered him, Be calm, do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built there an altar to the Lord and called it Yahweh Shalom. Our responsorial psalm, Psalm 85, The Lord speaks of peace to His people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people and to His faithful ones and to those who put in Him their hope. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord Himself will give His benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Gospel today from Matthew chapter 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For man this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will be there for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. And our word for today is lowliest. Lowliest, our word for today. It comes from our reading uh, from the book of Judges today where we encounter Gideon. And I find it very interesting because the angel of the Lord encounters Gideon. And what is, addre what is his address to him? Gideon, uh, when, the Lord's, uh, when the Lord appeared to him, said, O champion. He called him, O champion, 
he addresses him as O champion. And then Gideon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all of this happened to us? So he asks for an explanation about the lowliness, about uh, what has happened to the people of God during these years. Obviously, as a result of disobedience, but he, he, he lists these grievances, basically. But then when he is called into service, remember, again, the angel of the Lord encounters Gideon and refers to him as O champion. But this is what Gideon answers. Please, Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowliest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. Does that sound like a champion? <laughs> The Lord had addressed him as champion, but Gideon did not see himself as a champion. In fact, he considered himself the lowliest of the low, a prefigurement of what we would see from Our Lady Our Lady later in her encounter with the angel, stating that, that she was not worthy of this. She's humble, her humble, the humble servant of the Lord, never imagining that she could be used by the Lord in such a magnificent way. Gideon taking that same approach, even though he's he is called a champion in his own mind, in his own heart, in his own spirit, he saw him he saw, saw himself as nothing even close to that. But the Lord uses the simple to confound the wise. He uses the lowly to cause upheaval for those who think they have some power, who think they have some uh, prestige in this world. We, we, and I, I, I refer to myself as simple, very, very simple, thank God, um, are put in place to be stumbling blocks to those who are wise by the estimation of the world, who are powerful in, in the way that the world measures. But we glory in that lowliness because we know that it is the Lord, only the Lord, that can cause great things to happen in our lives and give us the opportunity and the ability by His grace to do things in His name that really shift and change the world, as we see with Gideon. Gideon is about to set off and change the direction of the people of God because he is willing, even though he sees himself as this lowly person, he believes what the Lord says. When the Lord says, O champion, and then proves it to him later uh, through uh, consuming the food, the broth, and the cakes by fire that came forth from a rock, Gideon is confirmed in this idea that this is a message from the Lord and that the Lord is in fact calling him to this work. He believes then what the Lord says to him. And brothers and sisters, yes, as we take up the lowliness that the Lord calls us to, taking up those lowest places, and presenting our, as, ourselves as less than our brothers and sisters because we are here to serve those around us, not to be served. We also have to believe that the Lord can call us up to higher places and he can do wonderful things with us and we ought not um, dismiss what his thoughts are about us. So I would say to you, whatever is going on in your life, whatever your self-perception is, please know that in the Lord's mind, you are a champion. You are his champion. He has called you to this. He has called you to be a champion in his name, to go forward and change the lives of many through an obedience as a humble servant of God, through obedience as a humble servant of God. Yes, lowly is what we strive for because that's what the Lord has called us to, but don't mix that up with how the Lord sees us. He doesn't see us as lowly. He sees us as his sons and daughters, and he is able to do great things for us. Lowliest, our word for today.